Hello everyone and welcome to Miko's Corner. Today we will be continuing the Telltale's The Walking Dead. In the previous episode, you saw me finish the school missions. We got fuel, we got a battery, and we got medicine. We also found out that Molly used to be a resident and was sleeping with the doctor in order to get diabetic medicine for her little sister who was 14 at the time, just at that age limit where they wouldn't allow kids, but she was also a uh, medical liability or whatever they wanted to label her as. The place was overrun by zombies, and we barely made it out by the skin of our teeth, and Ben was willing to die in that tower, but we saved him, and he told Kenny that he... he was the one who was giving supplies to the bandits and the reason why Katja and Doc died. And Kenny went off the rails as you can expect. We're back in the house, Omid is okay, and we're having a private chat with Vernon. Listen, man, about what happened to Ooh. me. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have you want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we better just get used to it. Yeah, that sucks. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for Oh, God. With this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Oof. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me sounds like it'd be pretty crowded and I never did like the water you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. It can be lonely, though. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. I like Molly. She's badass. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. All to do with skill?
Hey, Sweet Pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Since we got back. <clears throat> well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure. I should have said the second one. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Oof. I love that they tell you that it is a straight up lie. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> oh, Clementine. <laughs> Fell asleep sitting up. That's super uncomfortable. <sighs> Clementine. Is it the next day or the same day? Clementine. <clears throat> Walkie's gone. Where is everyone? Oh, loading screen. Clementine, Clementine! Don't talk too loud, dude. Uh oh. God. I'm gonna get jump scared, aren't I? No. Doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, major decision. Long. She's not in room. Vernon ain't in the house time. either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my God! No way. No, no fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and it's not to Vernon. Take her Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch! I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? 
Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? We're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. <sighs> Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't there. Friggin' radio still going. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katya and Duck when it mattered. See? All right, I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right, if he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. But whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? Strength in numbers. If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? They're just heading out without any kind of supplies. <clears throat> Did you check the shelves first? Because they look kind of empty. They're gone. If they're smart, looks like they got out of here in a hurry. They'd leave town. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt. Yeah. When you guys were leaving the bell tower, Vernon saw the mob of zombies from the railroad that you guys brought in. And they left quick. Fucking dead. Whoa! Behind me is glitching. The various people that were or could be there vanished and reappeared, and it was weird. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic?
You and 25% of players did not kill him. Kenny needed to do that. It was a very easy situation. It wasn't his family. The kid wasn't putting up a fight. Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie to... Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of players were rational and honest. Good. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? 73% brought her. For whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? I am actually surprised 66% of us pulled him up. Because, you know, he really is skirting that line of being a jerk. And But at the same time, he's... He's somewhere between, like, what, 18 and 22? That's usually college age. He could be 17. But, yeah. Did you reveal your bite? 80% of us showed the bite. Hmm. Actually, I do remember this one. I was reading about it online. Um, a lot of people showed the bite because... There's no reason to conceal it. Everyone is pretty much on your side. If someone like Lily's dad was still around and being super dangerous and scary, there might be more reason to hide the bite. Who came with you? 16%, which is everyone, uh, mo mostly everyone, got everyone to come with you. 6% went alone. Ooh, that's tough. 10% got just Ben. 11% got Krista and Omid, which will, whom will always come with you if you reveal your bite. If you conceal it, they won't come. If you tell them not to. 12% you have Kenny and Ben. 13% is Krista, Omid, and Kenny. 14% um, is Ben, Krista, and Omid. Oh, 18% did Kenny and, and Lee alone. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna cut through this real quick. Sorry everyone for that break, it won't be very long for you guys once I edit it, but I had a few things to do before I could continue and move on to the next episode within this game. I walked away when the credits were running, <laughs> got a drink, went to the bathroom, you know, stuff like that. Episode 5, No Time Left. We won't get particularly far in this episode for this video, but we'll get to see the beginning of it. Previously on The Walking Dead. Yeah, here goes the previously. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those Oh, boxes. Carly. Here, you can have some too. <sighs> I miss you. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! <laughs> oh. Oh. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Clementine. Chloe. Yikes. This game series adapts to the choices you make. Story is tailored by how you play. Somewhat. Not super well, but... Oh, uh, now they're gonna explain what they saw out the window. Z of the basement. Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! 
Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <laughs> Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. There's the basement Clementine, windows. Fine. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can do <sighs> not or anything anymore, it's that. What do you want with her? Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. What Don't is it, Dalcrode? We'll get her back. The rain just picked up here, and the noises of the zombies outside is very spooky. It doesn't matter. Is what it is. Outside the basement, anyways. We don't have much time. You guys should have closed the door as soon as you heard about the. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Aw, thanks. Just some surgical supplies. I just took a glance at the walkthrough. It said, attempt to open the elevator doors. Do not shoot them. They are doors, not zombies. And I find that hilarious. You're also wasting bullets, which I wish I can't get my hands in between the was a doors. thing. Um, In the game, you know, have a little meter on the side where like your items are, include your ammo. And then you have to find more ammo. Like I think that would really add to the game. Looks like a carjack. Hoping that uh. Imagine this being used on a body. Hoping it might be included in future games. I say future games. I mean, continuing from this point games that I have not played yet. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. And climb up the elevator. Fever. Episode 5, no time left. Fuck. Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! Tell me more than it. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? Yeah. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What mm. if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Jesus. What are you guys talking about? We thought maybe with your bite. If we removed it, you might live. I know it's drastic. You should have done it sooner. But what if it works? It might be the only way. What do you think? <sighs> it 
This is going to hurt. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously. Yeah. I should have done that before you left the house to come after Clementine. Also, Omid recovered quick, by the way. He had like 24 hours. Don't get too high, okay? Just get through the thinnest part you think is best. <laughs> it was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. Jeez, Kenny. I'll go as fast as I can. You got that. <laughs> Try to stay still. Oh, God. I know. Did they not have any- Oh! Do I need to blur that out for YouTube? Is that too gory? Is that a problem? I know you're not allowed to swear in the first minute or whatever, but... I'm not- I can't get ad revenue just yet, but... Oof. Ugh. Lost you. You've been out a while, man. <sighs> my arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you could believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah, I'm surprised they're just now making noise. They should have been earlier. Thought the screaming Lee did. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. You're gonna have to climb one-handed, bro. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Okay. That save there. So, that should mean that we'll end up right there when I return to this later, because I'm not gonna record any more tonight. I might record a... One episode of a, of a game I, I've been meaning to try, a special one. Uh, but I may or may not, because it is kind of late and I had an early day striking the haunted house set. Uh, so yeah. Thank you for watching, I hope you're enjoying it. This is the last episode of this game. Things are getting down to the wire, as you can see, Lee is infected and... Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to make it, but let's hope he reunites with Clementine before that happens and get her back from whoever this freak is. Thank you for watching. I said that already. I apologize. Oh my god. Make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. See you next time!